Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Colourpop haul. So this is my box of goodies. I made a quite large Colourpop order a few weeks ago and it all arrived in the mail last week and I have been dying to play with some of this stuff but I've just been waiting until I could film this video. So I have got my box here. I'm just going to pull some stuff out and show you guys what I got. So I'm going to start with eyeshadows because I got two, four, six, eight, nine new Super Shock eyeshadows. I absolutely love Colourpop Super Shock shadows. They are something out of this world. They are like a cream mousse formula, but they are a powder. It's really weird, hard to explain, but they're really, really good. So they come in a little box like this. So this first colour is called Too Shy. This one is actually a pressed pigment. So this is the colour of it. It is like this gorgeous royal bluey kind of ocean blue shade and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I will do some close-up swatches for you guys. But this shade is absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to get more colourful Colourpop eyeshadows because I mainly just have neutrals. I did buy a lot more neutrals but I can't help it. Um, so I am super excited to do a look with this shade. I think it will be so fun, um, especially for the Northern Hemisphere viewers who are going into spring and summer. This would be super fun. The next shade I have here is called Lovely, and it is basically just a sort of golden champagne shade. It's just like a nice standard breed color. I love colors like this for all over the lid, um, and you can never have enough. So again, this one is a metallic finish. Well, not again. This one is a metallic finish, so it gives you that super duper, like, foiled, shiny look. And I just had to get this colour. I love this, these kinds of colours. So that, again, is called Lovely. This shade here is called 3, just the number 3. It is a metallic eyeshadow, and it is basically a dark brown with little bluey purple reflex in it. So it's kind of like Makeup Geek Insomnia Pigment or MAC Blue Brown by the looks of it. Um, but it's just super gorgeous. I think this would look like a duochrome kind of shade. Um, I will find out when I swatch it for you guys, but it just looks so beautiful. So again, that is called 3. And 3 is my favourite number. Interesting fact. This shade is called Crinkle and it is like a Christmassy shade. Um, it is a metallic finish and I would say it's like a greeny, bluey, silvery, metallic shade. I am so bad at describing colours. I should have brought the descriptions up from the Colourpop website, so <laughs> that would have helped me out. But this shade is so gorgeous and I love the name of it, Crinkle. Like, So yeah, I'm excited to use this. I think this would be so nice for like a night out makeup look or something like that. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So again, that shade is called Crinkle. This shade is called Liberty and it is a like pure silver. Um, it is a ultra metallic shade. So I, I didn't realize they had ultra metallic. So I'm assuming this is going to be like going to be going to be crazy, crazy pigmented and shimmery, but it just looks absolutely beautiful. And I never go for these kinds of shades because it's cool tone and it's silver but I definitely wanted to get one of these and have it in my collection. So again, this shade is called Liberty. Ah! I just threw it on the floor. This shade is called Alchemy, and I believe this is some sort of collaboration because on the back it says Alchemy, Jamie King, cross Colourpop. So I don't know who Jamie King is, but I'm assuming whoever they are um, did this like range with Colourpop, I guess. Um, but this is just like a pinky, champagne-y, peachy kind of colour. Um, it is a glitter sheer. So basically it's got little glitters in it and I'm assuming the shadow colour is going to be quite sheer. But the glitters should stand out and bring out some pigment. Um, but again, just another beautiful shade. I feel like it will be so nice just on the lid. This shade is called Drift and it is a burgundy... Just a burgundy kind of shade. It does seem to have a few little glitters in it. Um, but yeah, it's mainly just a burgundy shade. Um, it is pearlized. And as I'm looking at it, it does look very, very similar to Porter by Colourpop and Kathleen Lights. Let me, let me just have a look. The Porter is a metallic shade. Oh yeah, they're very similar. So this one's Porter. This one is Drift. They are very similar. The only difference is Porter has got little gold glitters in it. 
um, whereas Drift is sort of more like just a metallic finish. So you probably don't need both of these shades to be completely honest. It is still really pretty and I do love the shade Porter so I am definitely going to get my use out of this. Um, and I love shades like this during the autumn months and that kind of thing. So yeah, this one is called Drift. This colour is called Millionaire, so like Millionaire but with an N at the front. Um, and it is like a copper, bronzy, goldy kind of shade. So this is absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be such a nice bronze shade. Again, this is just like a staple colour for me. I love colours like this, like bronzy metallics. Um, this is just a metallic finish. So again, so excited to use this one. Um, so yeah, called Millionaire. Then the last shadow I got is called Animal. And it is another pressed pigment and it is another bright one. So it's like a beautiful orange coral peach color and I love it and it is so beautiful. Um, and yeah, I just, I wanted to try these pressed pigment versions of the shadows out. I didn't really know they had them up until now. So I will give them a go and hopefully tell you guys what I think about them. Um, but yeah, this is so up my street. I love, love, love colors like this. So once again, that one is called Animal. I only got one face product, but it is the ColourPop Jane. It's again the Alchemy range. Um, I should really look this up. Like, who is Jamie King? Tell me. Tell me more. But this is a sculpting stick. So it's in the shade New Renaissance. Renaissance? I never know how to pronounce that word. So it just comes in like their little cardboard box. It just basically looks like a lippy stick, but it's not it's a contouring stick so I did swatch this on the back of my hand when I very first got it and blended it out and it blended like a complete dream so hopefully it blends like that on the face I do feel like it is quite dark though so I feel like you would have to have quite a bit of a tan going on if you wanted to use this but I will do some experimenting with it and just see how it goes it does just feel so creamy and soft and buttery though so I am hoping that I really love this so yeah and this was I think only ten dollars which is I got two of the new brow products so I first got the brow color which is basically just like a dip brow um so it comes in the same kind of packaging as the eyeshadows come in and I got mine in the shade dope taupe does look quite dark though now that I actually have it in person um so this is what it looks like. It is, again, quite dark. I do like a dark defined brow. So yeah, I just wanted to pick this up and compare it to sort of like the Anastasia one. Um, I do love my Chi Chi brow pomade in taupe. Why did I take so long to realize that? Um, so that's why I got taupe in this, but hopefully the color is not too, too dark. If it is, I don't care. I'll still use it. Um, but I'm very intrigued to see how this formula goes. Um, the packaging is pretty standard. It's basically just like a normal brow pomade. So let's see how Colourpop went with their pomade. And then of course I grabbed one of their brow pencils as well because I have seen quite a few people using these and they do look really good. Um, so this is what it looks like. You get a spoolie on one end. Let's do a little spoolie. It's a nice spoolie. That is the verdict. Um, and it's just a super skinny little pencil. The tip is kind of weird. It's not it's not on an angle, but it's not like a pointed tip. And when you twist it up, it does feel kind of odd. It's like it ticks over. Um, so I think you would only really twist it when you need the product. Otherwise, I don't think you can turn it back down. So that is my only sort of like confusion with this product. Um, but again, I got the shade Dope Taupe. So we shall see how this goes. I'm generally not an eyebrow pencil kind of person either. I am a pomade or cream type product person that is just what I like the best but I am still going to give this a go and see if it agrees with me. I got three of the cream gel liner pencils um, so I got the shades Get Paid, Cry Baby and Zulu so I'm going to show you guys these. So Get Paid is like a rose gold sort of Oh my god, I just, I love this shade. It is so beautiful. Um, I can see myself wearing this every day. They are so creamy and so pigmented. I swatched all of these on my hand as soon as I got them. Um, so, I'm so excited. 
So yeah, Get Paid, as I was saying, is sort of like a rose gold coppery kind of shade. Perfect for the waterline, I feel like, with the bronzy kind of look. I'm so excited. So excited about that one. Then this one is called Crybaby. Crybaby is like a lavender purple shade. It's just a matte lilac y purple, but I just thought this was super pretty and I am such a purple fan. Like, purple is my favorite color, so I kind of couldn't not get this one. So, again, this one is called Crybaby. And then this one is called Zulu. Zulu? Zulu? And I got this one because I saw Katie use this from Luster Lux in her waterline. I'm pretty sure this is the one she used. But this is like a mint green matte shade. It's like a pastel mint green. And it is absolutely stunning again. So excited to use this. And then last but not least, I got four more of the Ultra Satin Lips. Because I am obsessed with the ones I got in my last order. I am just so beyond obsessed. So I had to get more colours. So this first one is called Panda. And it is this colour. It is basically like a... It's like a berry purpley shade, I would say. And I absolutely love the formula of these Ultra Satin Lips. I do have a whole entire swatch and review video on my channel. If you guys are interested, I will have it linked down below. Um, so yes, this one is called Panda. This next one is called Little Stitchuous. And I forgot that I ordered this colour and I saw Shannon from Shanxo talk about this colour. I was like, oh damn it, I should have ordered that colour. I did. So excited. So this is basically just like a pinky nude shade. It kind of looks like the perfect nude shade that I'm going to like. Pretty similar to the other two nude shades that I have, but I really don't care. One can never have enough nudes. So again, this one is called Little Stitchuous. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is absolutely beautiful. This shade is called Molly and it is like a purpley, cool toned, pinky mauve shade, I would call it. I just love cool tone pinky purple shades. I am a big fan of those on my lips. Um, I just feel like it goes really well with blonde hair for some reason. Um, and yeah, I just really was excited about this color. Yeah, I just love this. I think it's so beautiful. So again, this one is called Molly. And then the last one I got is just a super wearable shade. Like I'm probably gonna, just gonna be wearing this um, every day for work kind of thing. And it is called So Wavy. So this is what it looks like here. And I am totally joking, it is a freaking bright, vibrant purple. Like, purple. I love purple, but this is purple. Um, I am going to wear it. I'm going to probably do a tutorial with it because I bought it and I love the formula and the colour is absolutely stunning. I just didn't really think it was going to be quite so purple. Um, but I still love it, as I said. I'm still going to use it. So again, it's called So Wavy. And... It's a super fun colour. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the things that I bought and if you like them or if you hate them or what your opinion is. Um, and if you want tutorials using any specific colours, um, whether it be with the lip colours or the eyeshadows, just let me know. Tell me whatever you want. Tell me your wildest dreams in the comments. Okay guys, we'll share. So that is it from me guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! So, yeah, I got once again. I should stop saying once again. I'm sorry, Liberty. I'm sorry. Holy fucking shit. Bree, you idiot. So this shade is what? Oh, what? Are you hot, Luna? It's hot. Zulu. Zulu. Zulu.